or check on your Monday forecast. And it's about to get hotter, unfortunately. If you're one of those that you've been complaining about the heat all summer long, well, record heat wave on the way this week. And the main reason being, we're probably going to see a run of 100 degree days, which that does not happen very often. Right now I'm forecasting today, tomorrow, and Wednesday to all be 100 at the airport. You'll look at the records, and of course it's going to be record heat. 100 degrees today will blow, blow past the old record of 98 set back in 1993. We're going to tie it Tuesday and Wednesday if we do hit the triple digit mark with the actual air temperatures. This is the last time we've seen two days in a row. That was back in 2010 of 100 degree weather. How many times has it happened? Not many. It's happened in 1980 and 2010 at the New Orleans International Airport. Slidell, it's happened three days, which actually occurred last year. And then our Audubon site, you go back all the way to 1924. There were four days in a row. The most recent is 2015, where there were four days in a row of 100 degree plus temperatures. There's a live view outside. Remember, the sun's coming up later and later every morning. Days are getting shorter, but it isn't responding uh, to the temperature department just yet. You're walking out the door, it's 81 degrees at Bell Chase, 82 right now here at Fox 8, and some 70s on the board on the North Shore. Okay, we've been watching this heat ridge all summer long. It seems to not want to go away, and it's not going away anytime soon. In fact, it's going to get closer to us, and it's going to get stronger. So through the middle part of the week, it anchors itself right over Texas and Louisiana, and that's why I'm thinking 100 degrees will be a possibility every afternoon, especially on the North Shore. Mississippi Gulf Coast North Shore, you might be 101, 102 for periods of time today all the way through Wednesday. There are some signs by the end of this week and more so next weekend, it'll shrink a little bit and push slightly farther off to the west, which is it really going to do much? Not exactly. It'll allow more of a northerly flow. When we get more northerly in our flow around the backside of that high, Typically, that leads to a few extra storms in our forecast. Let's get into the tropics because can't forget about that. We are getting closer to August. Two areas we're watching. Both of these are heading out to sea. So are we really watching them? Not exactly. Uh, they're not going to bother any land areas, but this red area has a high chance of forming into our next depression or named storm. You see that next name on the list would be Emily if it was to achieve that tropical storm status. Here's that seven day and you see it. Triple digits on the board, they don't exactly look too pleasant. 100 today, all the way through Wednesday. And I back down the heat a little, and I mean a very little, little bit by the end of the week on into next weekend. Well, we could get a few extra storms around here, but I think everybody at this point, they're like, I need rain, I'm sick of the heat. And well, we're doing the opposite. We're getting more heat and we're not getting all that much rain. Boy, those 100 they do stick out. out. <laughs> they do. <laughs> and it kind of makes you, you're right. You kind of look at the graphic like. It's not normal it for us in New Orleans. You, it's like, okay, it's always hot during summer, but we don't typically hit a triple digits around here that often. All right, Zach.